Hi, a very good afternoon to one and all. Myself, Ishwar, welcomes you all for today's MyBo webinar 9 on a specific topic tips and tricks on how to study the pharmacy subjects, especially for remembering the concepts and how to face the competitive exams like GPAT, NIPA, Drug Inspector, or any other related exams. On this aspect, today we have with us the young and dynamic person, Mr. Abdul Rahman, who has a lot of experience in his journey itself. His life itself is a journey and it is an experience for him. He will share his experiences rather than giving a talk on particular issue. He is there with us to give or to share his experiences on how to memorize or how to remember the pharmacy subjects in a better manner and he will give some of the tips and the tricks regarding that and he will also give or add a special focus on how to face the GPAT or NIPER or like such competitive exams in pharmacy. So coming to Mr. Abdul Rahman, he is right now pursuing his PG project MS Farm in Department of Medicinal Chemistry at National Institute of Pharmaceutical Education and Research, NIPER, Rai Bareilly, Lucknow. Earlier he is graduated from SJM College of Pharmacy, Karnataka and a proud moment for that college is, is the first person who stepped into the NIPER from the campus and that is really an appreciable thing on the part of Mr. Abdul Rahman. He is very active in participating in several national and international workshops, conferences, seminars and some of the points to be noted are he has certified from regarding uh, activities organized by elsewhere or Stanford University, Harvard Medical College, so like that. And he is also very active in motivating the students from different colleges and universities for doing better in their competitive exams. He always try to encourage students from different corners of the country. And he used to deliver lectures also in different colleges on request. So now it's my pleasure to invite Mr. Abdul Rahman, who is with us, who is right now doing PG project at Niper Rai Bareilly. Hello, Mr. Rahman. Thank you, sir. Hearty welcome to MyBo webinar. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you so much. Yeah, now sure. it's your turn to start the session without any further delay. So now I request you to take the charge and here is your presentation. I am sharing your presentation screen also. You can go ahead. So whenever you say, I will share the screen also. Right now, it's up to you. You can start the session. Is it visible? Is it visible? Slides? Yeah. You all have question that how to remember stretches in the of medicine chemistry, how to remember in pharmacology, how to read pharmacognosy, how to study pharmaceutics, and how to read pharma subjects. In pharmacology, uh, Whenever you read pharmacology, first, uh, before directly going to read pharmacology, before that, you should read uh, then pathophysiology and microbiology, then you should read uh, pharmacology. In pathophysiology, uh, there is, uh, you will read uh, regarding uh, pathogenesis of the drugs, uh, sorry, pathogenesis of the disease. Those, uh, uh, for that, you, you can follow a uh, flow chart you, uh, from, up, you can write, uh, you can start from the class, so you can in stepwise you can write the whatever happens in the pathogenesis and then finally you can write the disease. Uh, the uh, the pathogenesis of the disease you can write in flowchart uh, instead of writing in theory uh, in the lines you can write in flowchart so uh, it will be easy for you to read it and you to remember also. Uh, then coming to pharmacology uh, why I mentioned here microbiology because uh, there is a one uh, uh, thing called for that you should know uh, microbiology then uh, you study pharmacology like this uh, you uh, coming to next uh, uh, there is a uh, so many classifications of the drugs are there so for that to remember those uh, classif uh, classification of the drugs you should use uh, this is the example here you can see here 
valproic acid phenytoinoids uh, uh, vitamin a uh, a a c inhibitors yeah, B, then b third element third element in that lithium o or constitutes hormones w in a uh, you can remember uh, coming to anti tuber product uh, here here also you can see uh, of, uh, in Sorry to interrupt. You can use this mnemonic or uh, priest. Just by the priest, you can remember these all drugs. Uh, hello, for hello, to all drugs. Uh, then you hello, start, uh, you, you can use. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, sorry to interrupt you. Uh, there is some yes, disturbance from your end. I think so. Uh, audio is not clear. Uh, I think network issue. It might be. Uh, will you please check it once? Uh, the audio is breaking. Uh, there is some interruption in the audio. Okay, one second. Yeah, yeah, no issue. Yeah, sorry for the interruption. Uh, there is some network issue at the speaker end. Uh, we are again fixing it. He is back. So thank you for letting us know, everyone. Hi, Rahman. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm audible now. Yeah, yeah. No, it's okay. Okay, sir. Yeah, Rahman, uh, you can also go a bit slow uh, so that audience will follow better. Okay, sure, sure. Yeah, yes, you ah, can proceed. Okay. okay, sir, can you start from sitting or can you stay? Okay. Uh, coming to pharmacology, in pharmacology, you will go through, uh, you will study uh, classification, of the, uh, classification of the drugs. There is a number of classification of the drugs. To remember that, you can use mnemonics. Uh, you can see uh, an exa example. There are drugs. Remember, I used that to buy this mnemonic from teratogenic drugs. You can see here T, uh, if uh, LMI, e, epileptic medications in that vaporized in a joint are required. A, 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 C inhibitors. Yeah, e, e, Third element in that lithium o oral contraceptive harm W warfarin A alcohol. Uh, here the one uh, uh, for Hi. Hello, Rahman. Uh, once again, and, sorry. Uh, in the first line. Hi, hi Rahman. Uh, Hello. Hello, Rahman. E, uh, hi. Hi. Hello, Rahman. Uh, one minute, please. Sorry for an interruption again. For our classification, you can by yourself can follow. Hello, Rahman. Uh, sorry, guys. Uh, it seems there is some network issue. Uh, the speaker end. Sorry for that. Uh, let us see how we can fix it. Study first organic chemistry. In if you study a reaction, first you have to understand the reaction, then revise it 
can check whether you are able to write or not you just hello check. hello rahman For, uh, are you able to hear me to understand yes, hello sir. rahman yeah yeah uh, there is still uh, yes, disturbance yes, rahman uh, it's not at all clear your audio is not at all clear it's breaking continuously um, maybe you just pull out okay. that earphones and once again try back or maybe network issue okay sure okay. okay. uh, it's, it's not at all clear audio is no way clear Yes, uh, I already informed to the Rahman. Uh, he is looking after the network issue as well as the audio and video. Uh, we will see how it can be fixed. Sorry for the trouble. So there is some issue from his uh, side. No, we will see. It happens sometimes. So we will see. Yes, sir. Am I audible? Yeah. yeah, now it's very good. It's clear. Sure, sure. Clear only. We face some problem. It's okay. No problem. We can go ahead. Now, please share the screen. Sure, sure. Mm -hmm. uh, sorry, viewers. Uh, sometimes it happens because we are completely depending on uh, internet. So sometimes it will disturb us. Uh, sorry for that inconvenience. Uh, we will continue. And one more small request, uh, Mr. Rahman, uh, you please go somewhat slowly. Your audience are requesting to speak slowly such that they can follow you. You are somewhat speed. <laughs> you are going fast. Sure. Uh, they want to hear clearly from your side. So you can go slowly. No hurry. Uh, it's just uh, online session, live session. Only, so no hurry. You can explain clearly. You, it's better you can start from the first slide uh, because we missed all your first explanations also. Sure, sure. I will start. You can speak slowly and as I said, viewers can learn more from you. Sure, sure, sure. Yeah. Okay, guys. Sorry. Sorry for the interruption. Uh, now, Rahman will again take up the charge and we will continue. Welcome to this. Uh, sir, am I audible now? Yes, everything everything is fine, Rahman. Now everything is good. Okay. You can proceed. Okay. Yes, okay. please. Sure, sure. Welcome to this session. I would like to explain on tips and tricks on how to study pharmacy subjects. You all have questions like how to remember structures and synthesis of medicinal chemistry, how to remember classifications of drugs in pharmacology, how to read pharmacognosy how to study pharmaceutics, how to read other pharma subjects. Coming to next, first pharmacology. Whenever you read pharmacology, you should not directly read pharmacology. First, you should read human anatomy and physiology. Then you should read pathophysiology and 
microbiology than pharmacology uh, the, in pathophysiology uh, whenever you read pathogenesis of the diseases disease uh, you should uh, make it in flow chart so that it will be easy you can start from causes uh, in the uh, then next in between you write whatever it happens then finally uh, disease name like this you write it in uh, write that uh, pathogenesis of disease in flow chart so that it will be easy to read you read coming uh, then uh, you study pharmacology coming to uh, coming to uh, why i told here microbiology because in pharmacology there is a one section called chemotherapy to know uh, to study that chemotherapy before you should know microbiology so uh, that's why i mentioned here coming to next pharmacology in pharmacology uh, you will study many classifications of the drugs uh, to remember that uh, the, those drugs use mnemonics here uh, exam take example teratogenic drugs for that i use mnemonic teratova you can see here t for t just remember this teratova uh, t means thalidomide e epileptic medications in that valproic acid phenytoin or retinoic retinoids in that vitamin a a ac inhibitors arbs t third element lithium in that lithium o oral contraceptives hormones w warfarin a alcohol uh, and another also I, I given another example here anti tubercular drugs in that first line drugs use uh, the here i written here i use mnemonic called trist p means pyrazinamide or rifampicin i isoniazide e ethambutol st streptomycin by using mnemonic you can learn a uh, classification of the drugs so that it will be easy uh, to to know uh, to make uh, mnemonics you can make mnemonics by yourself or you can follow there is one book called river of pharmacology by gargan gupta in that book you will find mnemonics so you can follow that book and also in youtube in youtube there is a many channels which are focusing on uh, making mnemonics you can follow those channels also you will get uh, mnemonics coming to next organic chemistry now or, uh, first uh, in chemistry you should first you should read organic chemistry and inorganic chemistry in coming to organic chemistry uh, you will read you, uh, regarding naming reactions there is a many naming reactions are there so for that uh, take example uh, rimmer timmer reaction in rimmer timmer reaction it start from you should understand uh, what whenever you read naming reactions you should understand the reaction uh, like what ha what is happening in that like you can take example rheumatima reaction in that start from phenol then it finally it forms salicylaldehyde okay in presence of reagent it finally forms salicylaldehyde like that you should know what ha what is the starting material what is the reagent in between and what is the final uh, final output what you got and coming to a synthesis also same you have to understand and then you have to revise it and you have to and you have to practice that whether you uh, you have to revise then uh, you have to check yourself whether you are able to write or not okay coming to uh, heterocyclic compound i will explain in medicinal chemistry section i will explain in next slides regarding heterocyclic compounds coming to medicinal chemistry you in medicinal chemistry you read about structural activity relationship uh, before uh, whenever you read structural activity relationship first you should know uh, whichever you, like if you uh, take example phenothiazin if you are going to read about uh, phenothiazin sar first you should know its structure its structure and numbering uh, this both is must for sar after that you can read uh, regarding what uh, like if i substitute this uh, this group what happens if i remove this group what happens those things we will study in sar uh, coming to chemical structures now i will explain how to remember chemical structures uh, whenever you study uh, before reading chemical structures of medicine uh, chemical structures in medicinal chemistry first you should know heterocyclic compounds okay if you know heterocyclic compound it is easy to remember chemical structures in medicinal chemistry in hetero uh, there is a many heterocyclic compounds are there uh, like three membered ring four membered ring five membered ring six membered ring in that three membered ring with one heteroatom three membered ring with Two heteroatom like that many are there in three in three membered ring aziridine is there like that uh, like in five member uh, like in four membering also many such as will come in five membered ring pyrrole furon thiophene 
like that so all the structures you should know these uh, you, you will get these structures from uh, organ chemistry book or from google you will get you should know before going to study you should know all the uh, heterocyclic compounds and uh, these also seven membered ring eight membered ring nine membered ring uh, coming to now i took example phenothiazine uh, like like say you, you are reading chlorpromazine chlorpromazine and uh, here trifluoromazine is there because this chlorpromazine is a class of phenothiazine whenever you read chlor why i told you should know heterocyclic compound like say you are reading chlorpromazine so to remember this first you, you should know its basic structure of chlorpromazine the basic structure uh, basic uh, structure of chlorpromazine is phenothiazine it is from phenothiazine it is from phenothiazine so uh, you, you should know that's why i told you should know heterocyclic compound you can see here it is a phenothiazine ring is a phenothiazine to that phenothiazine and you should know numbering why it will numbering because uh, you to remember the uh, uh, at what position what substituted so for that you should know numbering also uh, you can see here this is phenothiazine ring to the phenothiazine ring at eighth position there is a substitution of chlorine and, and at tenth position there is a propyl group to the propyl group uh, there is a dimethyl amine it get substituted like this you have to read just remember this basic uh, basic ring this is a uh, uh, phenothiazine then uh, just remember at eighth position there is a chlorine and at the 10th position there is a uh, substitution of propyl group to the propyl group there is a dimethyl amine uh, then it uh, this is chlorpromazine uh, coming to here trifluoromazine the for trifluoromazine uh, right uh, chlorpromazine has it is with small change that uh, just instead of this chlorine you you have to uh, attach trifluoromethyl trifluoromethyl you attach at eighth position uh, then coming to halothane halothane is general anesthetic you can see here just this remember here there is a ethane to the ethane at one side uh, trifluoro uh, group they attach and uh, trifluor three fluorine group uh, they attach and uh, at another side uh, there is a chlorine group and bromine like that you have to study you have to understand what is present and what is the basic ring and all coming to next you can see tetracycline uh, here another structure tetracycline like this also you can make the box and you can study uh, if there is a uh, less substitutions then that time you can make like this box uh, and study this is the tetracycline to this uh, r1 r2 r3 r4 these are the substitution for these structures minocycline oxytetracycline methacycline doxycycline sancycline this is the basic structures okay this is the basic structure if you want tetracycline uh, just you have to substitute at r1 position h hydrogen at r2 position ch2 at r3 position oh at r4 position hydrogen then like that okay like that you have to study you can you can make like this box and you can remember like uh, like or for you can remember this order tetracycline minocycline oxytetracycline methacycline doxycycline sand cycling and you can you can uh, you can remember like r1 position uh, in r1 position there is a uh, all all r1 position are uh, you have i have to uh, have to substitute hydrogen uh, only minocycline there is a change in minocycline uh, there is a substitution of dimethyl amine there is a substitution of dimethyl amine and uh, rest of them are hydrogens and coming to r2 you have to remember all these things r2 r3 r4 and you can see here one more thing at horizontal uh, you can see um, for uh, sand cycling all are hydrogen 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 like that also you can remember so by this chart you can remember what is the substitution and all uh, coming to next pharmaceutics for pharmaceutics uh, you should not directly study uh, by taking latchman and lieberman first you should go through uh, pharmaceutics basics like you should study from uh, any any uh, book like from rm mehta just go through there uh, there is a, you will get the basics like what is the tablet what is the capsule uh, what about uh, what is emulsion and all what are all the types are there about uh, suspension whatever the basics first study rm mehta then after that go through physical pharmaceutics okay after that uh, pharmaceutical engineering in pharmaceutical engineering uh, you will uh, you will study about uh, uh, equip equipments and all like size reduction uh, other uh, like other chapters in size reduction there is a uh, equipment like um, uh, like um, ball mill hammer mill all those things for that you make one chart you make one chart and 
and uh, right all the mills at one side and its action uses uh, all these things you can make like this and come next or uh, finally you study pharma uh, like pharma uh, then whatever that about granulation tablets whatever is there you uh, according to syllabus then you study from latchman and liverman and make the charts uh, like you you know mm, mm, uh, like uh, all polymers all all uh, size reduction equipments and its action and all so all this you make charts and you can make charts of uh, uh, tablet problems and uh, tablet coating problems its defects and all you can make the charts coming to next uh, pharmacognosy in pharmacognosy you will study uh, many uh, crude drugs to remember that make like this column uh, like serial number right uh, first right you uh, like make like this column crude drugs names and synonyms biological source chemical constituents uses adulterants and all and you write uh, it's a uh, name uh, drug uh, drug name of the drug and its synonym uh, and then biological source and its family all these things and then chemical constituents and uh, all the chemical constituents you can write here and he uses and its adulterants like that what how many um, you in the ex especially in g part you, you need to study many drugs you, you just make uh, take white paper and make like this column and keep writing uh, all the whatever the drugs are there according to the syllabus you then uh, it will be easy and just revise that and to remember uh, to remember the drugs you just uh, you use mnemonics you just uh, use mnemonics by mnemonics you can remember the uh, crude drugs coming to next pharmaceutical analysis uh, in pharmaceutical analysis uh, there is a nmr values ir values uh, you you should know uh, for that uh, for that what you have to do is uh, all whatever nmr well sorry 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 nmr values ir uh, in in pharmaceutical analysis there is nmr values ir values for whatever the values are there those values you write in one paper and that uh, write in one paper then uh, wherever you study they, there you just paste on the wall so uh, whenever you uh, morning and evening whenever you study uh, before study you just go through those uh, charts and will you can uh, they, like that you just do you can uh, it will be uh, then you can remember like this coming to pharmaceutical jurisprudence in pharmaceutical jurisprudence you study about sh schedules and years uh, sh schedules also uh, you study by using mnemonics uh, then coming to years years also uh, you just uh, re you make one chart and paste it on the wall and uh, daily you just uh, uh, just uh, read those uh, charts and, and you can remember it coming to biochemistry uh, cycles and pathways uh, you can just you for cycles and pathways you just write all whatever the pathways are there in one white sheet and paste it on the wall and uh, morning and evening just go through those uh, charts and you will you can read uh, you can you will get it daily you, you do like this and you, you can remember coming to amino acids uh, you can see here amino acids coming to amino acids this is gly uh, coming to amino acids uh, this is glycine uh, here you can see the met methyl group to methyl group uh, carboxylic acid get connected another side there's the amine uh, coming to next uh, alanine uh, for alanine just write you uh, what uh, glycine write glycine to that glycine attach methyl group at uh, this uh, attach methyl group to methane then it will become alanine then coming to valine uh, this is alanine uh, you see this uh, this much is alanine to the uh, first write alanine first write alanine then to the alanine you attach two methyl groups you can see here they attach two methyl group then it becomes valine coming to uh, next threonine for threonine uh, first right uh, first right alanine this is the, this is alanine then to the alanine they attached oh group and methyl group so it becomes threonine coming to methionine for methionine first right alanine this is alanine to the alanine uh, attach methyl group to the methyl group sulfur again methyl you make like this first uh, right sulfur at one side attach methyl group another side attach 
methyl group then that uh, 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 make one bond and attach to alanine this is alanine coming to next tyrosine in tyrosine uh, this is alanine you can see this is in tyrosine first right alanine this is alanine to the alanine attach phenyl phenol group this is phenol group uh, attach phenol group big bond bond and attach it become tyrosine coming to leucine first right uh, alanine just remember alanine by remembering alanine uh, just with the small additions you can remember all amino acids uh, here you can see alanine uh, to the uh, to the, uh, the, the, the here it's alanine to the alanine uh, attach isopropyl this is isopropyl group so it becomes leucine coming to his aspergine here you can see here is this alanine to the alanine attach amide group then it become aspergine then for proline uh, right pyrrolidine uh, ring then to the pyrrolidine ring at second position attach carboxylic acid coming to uh, next cysteine for cysteine first right alanine uh, ring, alanine uh, structure then to that uh, just substitute thiol group this is thiol group coming to next tryptophan uh, this is uh, uh, tryptophan first for that first right uh, this is tyrosine you can see this is sorry uh, this is alanine uh, to the alanine attach indole this is indole then coming to next aspartic acid for aspartic acid this is uh, uh, first right alanine to the alanine attach carboxylic acid c double bond o o h coming to next serine first for serine uh, right alanine this is alanine to the alanine attach oh group okay it becomes serine then here also same aspartic acid for aspartic acid first write alanine to the alanine attach carboxylic acid it become aspartic acid coming to next isoleucine for isoleucine first write alanine this is alanine to the alanine attach methyl group then ethyl group coming to next phenyl alanine uh, for phenyl alanine first right alanine to the alanine attach phenyl group this is phenyl group coming to next histidine for histidine first right alanine to the uh, al uh, to the alanine uh, attach the, at this position attach imidazole coming to next tips uh, uh, first whenever you uh, study first if, uh, you, you have to plan uh, like you uh, see you like whichever you start like university exam or uh, g part nipe or whichever you start uh, first uh, you download the syllabus or uh, first you go through the syllabus see how many chapters are there how many subjects i should study and uh, first and make the uh, and then plans the uh, plan like you first you should study then you should revise like that you plan okay and uh, you should plan every day uh, if, uh, before planning you should uh, fix the target every day how this much i should study then uh, you according to the your target you plan yourself and uh, if you are preparing for g part and niper uh, daily two hours plan uh, you have to uh, add into the into your uh, daily plan uh, that is uh, classification of pharmacology like when you wake up morning uh, uh, after that uh, you when you wake up uh, in the morning you have to study all uh, all these things uh, like uh, you have to invest two hours then you study all these things uh, classification classification of pharmacology crude drugs of pharmacognosy chemical structures of medicinal chemistry if if you feel any other subject it uh, difficult for me then you can include in this plan in this two hours plan okay with your daily plan include this two hours plan for each uh, like you can uh, read uh, like you don't need to read everything at one day you just need to read uh, just give for this 20 minutes 20 minutes 20 minutes like that you can give for this more if there's more subjects uh, in 20 minutes uh, you, you, it, you how much is possible from your side you read is a, it may be two classification three classification like that if you read uh, it will be mm, helpful and uh, even uh, after completion of one once reading all you can revise so like that if you read i can remember easily coming to next when uh, after uh, after following whole day uh, plan after before sleeping you should evaluate yourself okay you should evaluate yourself like whether i did whether i uh, followed the plan or not whether, uh, like what what i did 
and uh, is it is uh, like whether I followed or not all these things you should see and uh, if there is anything you need to improve uh, you you, have, you can you can add those also like I should improve in this all these things so evaluate yourself and where I did wrong where I did right all these things you can you have to do this is very important evaluation okay coming to next revision and group discussion uh, coming to revision you have to revise you have to revise because your uh, gpad syllabus uh, uh, is too vast and too much is there you have to revise to remember all you have to revise okay coming to this group discussion so group discussion is very very important uh, you, you do you can do group discussion even you can do group discussion in whatsapp when i was when i was studying uh, i used to do uh, group discussion in whatsapp as well uh, we used to be like um, when question comes uh, we used to answer immediately like that we should, we, uh, in 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 our in in our in my in my uh, in our whatsapp group we uh, many of there we used to be like we should answer first we should answer first like that like that you should be should answer fast uh, um, how much you can so that that the, you can in in exam also you can do fast and uh, you will get uh, some time that time you can go through again you go through the question questions are again you go through the answer whatever you answer coming to next read previous question papers whatever the question papers are there previous question papers you should go through and one more thing uh, whenever you complete each topic or each subject you should go through the there is a many tests are available uh, uh, from different coaching centers just go through you, you, you go through those papers and you should solve uh, like subject wise test topic wise test and uh, and model question papers uh, word question paper all those things you should solve and you should check where i am uh, if there is a negative more negative marking you should check uh, where i am uh, lacking like where i am doing mistake and all and what i should improve all those things even uh, when you give model question when you solve model question paper and all uh, even if you get less marks also uh, don't uh, don't give up like okay i can't do this i can't do the g part and all you, you can do it uh, just you should improve yourself wherever uh, uh, wherever you uh, wherever you are uh, weak you just improve yourself you can do it and uh, coming to next uh, and then solve uh, and if you are preparing for gpad solve every day 30 to 50 question papers uh, for these questions you can go through um, uh, like uh, you can go through you will get from facebook you just join uh, gpad groups they will send uh, 10 questions like that you just go through this and uh, so that uh, you can evaluate yourself every day how like i'm uh, able to uh, like answer or not all these things and coming to next uh, final is uh, don't uh, like scare by others preparation uh, like uh, don't feel uh, like bad or anything like by uh, seeing uh, seeing others uh, like maybe others are maybe better than you so don't uh, uh, like don't feel bad or anything don't demotivate yourself you be if you if, if you don't know the concept you just revise you, you just read uh, read those concepts and you you can also do better in uh, exam and focus on yourself focus on yourself thank you yes uh, hi rahman yes sir yeah uh, i think uh, the audience uh, are asking some of the questions and uh, i think they expected more from you uh, and you winded up uh, at the early Maybe now the session is open for questions such that you can answer if still any questions okay, sure, are there sure. and respond to them uh, because uh, uh, the things that they are expected may be more uh, but from your session they may be expecting more so let us see uh, based on their questions we can proceed forward so here there are some questions I will just post you already few questions were asked. So there is a question from Pooja, uh, so can we prepare from now? So, is there any particular time to start the GPAT as per your experience, or it can be started? So, I, I think I don't know from which uh, year, year they are now. Uh, if if they are in final year also, they can start from now. Uh, they uh, they can start from today itself. Uh, I think still uh, six to seven months is there. Uh, they can qualify the GPAT. If they are uh, if they are in second year or third year, whichever it is, which uh, year it is, uh, they can start. Even if they are in year, from today, uh, they will qualify. They can prepare well. 
there is another question from bhagyashree you can see on the screen how to remember synthesis of compound and the preparations or remembering of organic chemistry okay uh, for uh, synthesis uh, you should uh, uh, like uh, whatever the synthesis are there in your syllabus just write all synthesis in one paper and uh, just uh, understand what what is the starting material what in terms of what and what is the final and uh, and just uh, revise every, uh, like uh, practice every day and uh, definitely it will be easy you can remember sir any tricks yeah i already yeah i already included in this session uh, you can go through what what should be strategy for competitive exams yeah uh, you should uh, plan uh, you should plan uh, first you should download the syllabus whatever the syllabus is there and uh, then you, you you can plan according to that uh, like how many subjects uh, first how many subjects are there you can uh, like uh, you first see and according to that you can plan sir what is what is the difference difference in preparation between gpat and niper j exam okay uh, in j uh, in gpat and niper in gpat only uh, like gpat syllabus uh, according to gpat syllabus you have to read in niper je uh, there is a, you have to follow gpat syllabus plus general knowledge for general knowledge you can go through um, uh, like you can read daily newspapers and you can follow uh, uh, there is one book called uh, niper companion by inamdar uh, inamdar ma'am i can follow that book uh, you will uh, just you, in that book uh, there is a old question papers uh, you can uh, you, you will get one idea how to uh, like uh, what are the questions will be asked in niper je which is best book for gpat and other competitive exams okay uh, for gpat and other competitive exams uh, uh, first thing you should follow uh, uh, like standard books whatever the standard books are there uh, if if i like uh, there is a, some uh, guides are available uh, that th those are like pure publications and uh, pearson you can go through those uh, both books if they are good sir i am a student of second fourth b pharma okay how how can i initiate for the preparation of gpat yeah uh, for uh, you, you can start the gpat preparation first download uh, uh, gpat syllabus from uh, nta website uh, then you, uh, you you take the uh, then you can start uh, and take the guidance from uh, some uh, some coaching institute it will be good yes sir next question yeah which is best book for drug inspector uh, i don't know much about drug inspector is it better to read different different test books for single topic or only one test book which is are you suggested yeah only one test book is enough you follow one test book if you not get uh, the uh, like whatever the topics you can follow other sub, uh, other books test book but read standard test books i am in third year so can i get um, get prepared for from today yeah you can start from today see if you see if you are now in third year uh, you can if you start from today it will be good you can get better rank sir there is a difference in syllabus between gpat and pc yeah some subjects may be not there uh, you just download the syllabus from nta uh, just follow the gpat syllabus i think almost same uh, gpat syllabus and pc syllabus can you suggest tricks for ics guidelines yeah there is no tricks just uh, you just read and understand and revise what is the scope of niper okay uh, can can you give some tips for learning organic chemistry heterocyclic compounds okay uh, for these i already mentioned in this session uh, just uh, uh, all whatever the heterocyclic compounds are there you will get the heterocyclic compounds from uh, google or from organic uh, from uh, organic chemistry test books though those heterocyclic compounds just write all the heterocyclic compounds in one paper stick it on uh, space it on the wall uh, just uh, every day you just uh, read uh, like every day you just practice those 
uh, stretches, uh, it, then it will be easy for you. Sir, will it necessary to attend coaching classes for GPAT, NIPER exam? See, if uh, for GPAT, if I uh, uh, if I if I spoke about GPAT, uh, if 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 you if nobody is there to guide you, if uh, if someone is there who, like who qualified GPAT, if someone is there to guide you, then it's okay. Otherwise, uh, you sh you should uh, go for coaching. And for uh, regarding NIPER, you should go for coaching because if someone is there to guide you, then it's okay. Otherwise, you should go for coaching. It's better option. How much cutoff is required? to crack g -pad. yeah it depends on the year to year uh, like uh, it depends on the year to year uh, just uh, you uh, uh, try to uh, whatever the syllabus is there try to read everything uh, how much you can uh, like uh, no one can uh, like you know 100% no one can finish like uh, uh, each uh, no one can read much like but you can uh, just go through the syllabus you can such as books which cover the basics of pharmacy subjects uh, like you know hmm, for pharmaceutics uh, you can go through uh, you can go from uh, from rm meta you can study and for uh, organic chemistry you can read uh, arun ball uh, for uh, for pharma uh, from pharmacology you can go, uh, you can go through three party you will, you will get it this scholarship is available for niper mba students too no no niper for mba mba there is no scholarship Sir, classification of drugs in pharmacology are enough for GPAT exam or mechanism of fractional side effects are also. Yeah, uh, not uh, only not uh, uh, like everything is important. Uh, not uh, not only uh, classification. Uh, classification also you have to read mechanism of action, side effects. All all uh, all are important. Yes, all are important. Herbal drug technology, which are important points for GPAT yeah you can go yeah it's important you can go through uh, you can you will, you go through the syllabus uh, yeah it's important suggest so book for pharmacognosy okay uh, for pharmacognosy you can go through kd3 party uh, sorry you can for pharmacognosy you can go through kokate and condemn wall. Uh, if you not get uh, the information from KD3, uh, KD uh, from uh, Kokate, you can go through uh, tree sentiments. Can farm D students write? No, no, no. Farm D students cannot write GPAT. Uh, only B farm students can write. Which application or online platform would you prefer for GPAD preparation? Okay, uh, which I uh, which I followed that I would like to prefer. Mm, I uh, for uh, test uh, for uh, mock test and all. I I took uh, uh, mock test from uh, GDC uh, and I joined a, a WhatsApp group uh, for fundamental pharmacy. Which application? Uh, yeah, I already answered. Which are the exams? we could attend after four years of uh, b pharma okay uh, you can attend uh, gpat uh, and other uh, like drug inspector for that uh, you need some experience so just go through the notification you will get it Which topics are most important for any competitive exams of pharmacy if we do smart study? Uh, there is no like important, uh, like important topics and all. Just go through the syllabus, start from the basics, then it will be good. Uh, you are um, like more uh, like you, 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 you will get good rank if you follow in this way. Yeah. Okay. Uh... Can you say the GPAT official website? NTA, NTA website. How to manage time in competitive exams? Okay, mm, for that uh, uh, you can uh, you can plan yourself. Like uh, you have semester exams also, uh, you need to prepare. Uh, uh, 
but like you know uh, many of the subjects are uh, like uh, semester uh, semester uh, whatever the uh, in semester uh, syllabus whatever the uh, subjects are there many of the subjects are uh, almost are uh, subjects are in uh, gpat syllabus like whenever you study for semester exam you study like gpat i am reading for gpat you uh, like that you study uh, you can manage the time and use tricks and tips from other sources for other is sir why you choose uh, thank you thank you. yeah uh, actually i have uh, i have interest in uh, research uh, so i i choose sniper okay my dear students i hope uh, most of your questions were answered by him so let me give some points related to your queries in general uh, so few students are asking after farm day shall i write gpat or something so based on that out of our uh, experiences uh, for the uh, decade of time so let me give you uh, uh, tips for this connection so after b pharmacy to enter into the pg program m pharm or ms in naipur or m pharm in any other private college or government institute you can attend the m pharm course by passing an exam national level exam called gpat we all are familiar so if you get a gpat rank at national level you will have the uh, chance to compete in any central government universities or any national government universities if you want to join me the gpat rank will be considered and again they may conduct some entrance exams for example banaras hindu university like that they will conduct again additional exam even naipur also conducting its je joint entrance exam it so like that but to attend those exams minimum qualification is rank in gpat so if you can cross the gpat then you are eligible to write the further level exams like bhc entrance exams or naipur je exam so that you will be given preference to join in the pg courses of so on so institutes along with that you will get stipend you are very much familiar now coming to the other exams what you can write after b pharm c means at state level in your state there may be some state level entrance exams for example if you take andhra pradesh there will be an exam called pg ec so like that in karnataka there may be some other exam you need to cross check what are the exams offered by the state level government or state level organization so they are helpful for getting the seat in that organization or the organizations within that state so all the uh, organizations in that state may prefer this internal exam as well as the gpat score so like that there are uh, some exam coming to the farm d so after farm d uh, you need not think about the gpat exam so farm d is considered as a 6 years course as you know so if you can you are eligible to write the pre phd exams you can join directly in the phd so it's like you have already done with your pg level education so b pharm 4 years and m pharm 2 years and farm d you are already finishing the 6 years course like that if you compare So, a farm day student is now ready to think about the PhD entrance examination. So, you can directly target the PhD, not the PG level studies. You are ready for PhD, so you can attempt any PhD entrance examinations offered by any university. And of course, the guidelines may vary from university to university. As Rahman is saying, you just follow the notifications based on the eligibility criteria. You can attempt. And after M Pharmacy, after M Pharmacy, again you are eligible for writing the PhD examination. So, Farm D can write the PhD entrance exam. M Farm student also, I mean, completed M Farm person also can attempt the PhD. Exam. So, like that, you have to compare. So now, uh, some students are asking about the drug inspector. So here, for the drug inspector exam, here uh, a B Farm candidate is eligible to attempt the drug inspector exam. So after B Pharmacy, you can attempt the drug inspector exam as per the notification guidelines. So they will be giving the eligibility criteria very clearly. in case of some central level uh, posts they may be considering your b pharmacy percentage also so highest priority may be given to b pharm percentage so based on percentage sometimes they may call you for interview sometimes they may conduct some entrance examination so a b pharm graduate is eligible to attempt the drug inspector exam as per the notification based on the notification eligibility so not only b pharm an m pharm candidate can also attempt that uh, entrance examination so like that you have to see the eligibility criteria of each notification and if you have finished b pharmacy you are okay to write the drug inspector exam if that eligibility is given and you can attempt that one <coughs> and coming to some people are asking about uh, 
coaching centers or textbooks or any coaching materials like that so it's it's as rahman already added it's up to you uh, it depends on your iq levels it depends on the time that is available for you it depends on whether the coaching center is available near to you so some colleges may be in outskirts or some your location may be not that much suitable to attend any coaching center so even nowadays at this covid time so a few organizations they have started online coachings also if you can browse you will be observing so just to see the track record what is the point of criteria to select any coaching center or any online uh services means you just see their track record you just coordinate with them or contact them to uh, give the information related to the previous success stories and you can contact some of the previous attended students for their experiences as rahman told he has taken coaching at so on so organization you can contact him to understand what are the things they are providing or how it is happening and again you can look into the price criteria you can compare how everything is available in internet you can simply compare the things so based on the availability it's always suggestible or better to have a competitive spirit which will be possible when you attend such type of competitive coaching centers because who will attend the coachings or who will attend the competitive areas mean all the people like you who are thinking or who are willing to crack the gpat or competitive exam so when such group of people are joining at one place then you can have more brainstorming you can have good circle you can exchange the things as rahman added discussion is very important so where it is possible it's not possible that much in our class then you run it because in your class some students have a target of going abroad some may be having business strategy some may be having completing the course and finishing it and you may be having to crack the pg level gpat niper type of so if you say mixture but if you go to any coaching center or if you join any online sessions there is a chance you can get the like minded people that's what rahman added in whatsapp group we used to have a discussion because all like minded people are available in one area so like that you can understand where you can get the like minded people such that you will have more chance to explore the studying nature as well as express your knowledge so every time you have to uh, explore such type of things and some of the things how to read means i, I will add one or two suggestions from my end also to rahman's discussion so for example if you are talking about pharmaceutics topic so how to make it somewhat simple so you rather than studying formulation manufacturing evaluation that is the thing what is discussed by our teachers in a regular classroom so from that you should come out of the box and add your inputs your uh, what i can say skills where you can get it in a simple manner for example uh, so many evaluation tests are there so uh, this is the hardness test we have to do like there these are the instruments used this is the limitation like and friability test again procedure limitation from that paragraphs from all those paragraphs what is the thing we can do means so bring the numerical values to one side all the numerical values from tablets evaluation capsules evaluation aerosols like that so one concept what we are tracking out is numericals so what is the importance of this numericals for example hardness test is there what is the numerical value present in that 4 to 7 kg per centimeter square is the limit for hardness for a general tablet so that is one point in friability what are the numerical is present the rotation speed is 25 rpm for every minute 25 times so like that if you operate for how much time 4 minutes so 4 minutes is another numerical so how many rounds it will take in 4 minutes 100 so total 100 revolutions will be done at a speed of 25 rpm for a duration of 4 minutes so like that numericals are there and again if you go to aerosol what i can say flame projection test is there there we will be applying the open flame over the aerosol for a period of 4 seconds so there 4 seconds is there in friability test 4 minutes is there in hardness test 4 to 7 4 is there so like that all these things if you can connect together and if you write at one place it will give you an easy understanding if that question comes in the exam whether the question comes from flame projection duration or something if at all not only in gpat in any other competitive exam even nowadays as per pca syllabus so there is a bit paper in every subject we have to face the object to type of question so there also it will help us to easily understand how to remember so like that this is one concept how to bring out the numericals and as rahman is saying you like you try to link one subject with the other subject he told anatomy should be linked with physiology from there to pharmacology from there to other areas so like that even in pharmaceutics also not only so Uh, pharmaceutical general pharmaceutics or industrial pharmacy or biopharmacy you need to club all the subject whenever you are studying uh, what i can say penicillin or provencidine pharmacology immediately you need to jump into the biopharmaceutics and pharmacokinetics in the excretion chapter so when penicillin is administered along with the provencid what is the benefit we are able to get penicillin is an antibiotic provencid is an anti gout drug but why they are being joined together and what is the benefit we can get in the excretion of the 
uh, so on so drug so like that it will help uh, expanding or increasing the duration of action of the penicillin so like that you have to combine the kinetics for topic with the pharmacology and pharmacology with the anatomy so if you know the anatomy properly about the glomerulus and all those things where this propensity is going to act whether internally or externally so then only you can understand its mechanism of action or joint effect so like that you have to understand the benefit of incorporating one subject into the another subject and discussions are very important in the classroom for example pharmacognosy if you students are questioning so if you want to remember there are so many plants biological names families it's very hard for any student at that moment to understand because we are first time reading all those things in a from the pharm pharmacy second year or third year whenever the subject enters so in such a typical case because not only the pharmacology there are so many other subjects you have to bear the load then what is the thing you have to mean do means so you help, take the help of your friend you can give some nicknames to your friends you can give some nicknames to your friends as a biological source your uh, teachers or your family members so such that whatever the things you feel that important naxomica something like it you keep one if one person is hyperactive in your class you keep him as a, a naxomica case and whenever you view that person you can remember all the naxomica biological source its application chemical consumption if any person is very dull you can keep one name him like opium he is very so it's not to criticize them but to understand to you can share with them you can keep yourself one nickname so like that you can use some tricks in order to keep the topics very simple as rahman added at home also make the habit of making small small sheets and write small structure or small synthesis of something whatever you feel important as per the syllabus or it's a good habit to refer the previous question papers so from that you will get a overall idea what is the way of questioning what is the depth of questioning and what areas are being covered very high in sutics or cognosy or ecology chemistry whatever it may based on that you prepare small sheets and you just stick on wall at one wall and daily you try to observe if it is a something synthesis of some drug if you see once or twice the third time you feel bored it's already known to me why should i see again just remove that sheet because it is finished and keep that sheet in a file and again you add a new one so that you add second synthesis or some biological or clinical trials are there four trials so what is the difference between the or among the trials so it's a question highly asked in iper uh, once a time so like that all the advanced topics at the same time all the basic topics will be covered in niper as he told fundamentals are very important in niper exam so not only depth they will also look for the fundamentals in organic chemistry or different chemistry subject so like that you should be very careful in covering all the concepts or overall uh, uh, coverage of the subject is very important and you discuss about one topic for example clinical trials is there just discuss all the points related to clinical trials to your mother or brother or your father so that explaining this is how the tests will be done in human being to explain phase 1 will be done only with healthy volunteers and phase 2 will be done in this much number phase 3 will be done at different areas so the in that area so whenever a question comes from clinical trial your brother or mother to whom you explain that clinical trial you finish that topic no need to worry about the clinical trial so like that you keep some persons or some live activities or some sheets or some uh, white material what rahman told to take one white paper or you make a notes you you try to add something and in the whatsapp also you are share so like that one area should be fixed for understanding or remembering one particular topic so like that it will be helpful for us to cover so many other subjects like so this is what uh, i thought of adding like there are so many things we can discuss so as of now uh, these are the few points i want to add so there are so many questions like uh, suggest any online coaching suggest any website suggest any book like that so <coughs> we will be sharing some of the available sources uh, along with the feedback link to you for sure so we will work on it and uh, we should not give a name of one coaching center or a name of one textbook it's not fair right. so what we will do means we will provide you the available uh, a good good number of books or good coaching center so that you can select and you can browse the websites like that we will give you the top most things as for our personal observation only it's not like certifying them or something so from that you can just learn something so uh, we will work on that and coming to the feedback link and certificates so many questions are coming so in two to three days as is it's a regular practice for the myo webinars after two days of the session we will be sending you the uh, self assessment link which upon submission of the questions and uh, all the uh, feedbacks we will be getting the certificate in your mail so please wait for two to three days and suggest phd phd entrance and all those so it's all a phd again uh, you will have your local university entrance examinations we'll have a national level entrance examinations like niper it will offer phd uh, if you qualify some of the exams 
there are again part time phd full time phd with stipend without stipend uh, along with funding from the, the central organizations like the serb organization if any project is there so there are so many categories in phd entrance exam so this is the uh, overall uh, view related to the uh, good points what i can say so thank you very much mr rahman uh, you have given your inputs uh, so students issue sir and team yeah yeah <laughs> uh, so the, so many points were discussed i think so uh, still there will be so many other questions and all those things we will come up with uh, another person uh, again to continue this uh, uh, queries and all those things and uh, rahman has given a uh, good limelight on some of the topics what he feel necessary and what he thought of giving uh, some information to all of you and he given answers to uh, majority of the questions uh, as per his concern uh, and whatever the questions that were remaining uh, surely we will provide some of the information you can write your queries to mybogroup at data gmail dot com such that we will take uh, uh, answers and we will provide the responses to you on coordination with the respective team members so this is the overall discussion for today's session thank you very much for staying with us and watching the mybo webinar 9 on uh, topics related to some trick tips or tricks related to the remembering or studying of the pharmacy subjects so now i request rahman to give the concluding remarks uh, so so that we can close the session yes sir thank you so much sir thank you so much uh, mybo group uh, and uh, thank you so much ishwar sir and thanks to all uh, for participating in this session thank you yeah so thank you very much guys uh, so we had a small discussion i can say it's like a brainstorming session it's not like you should start in third year or final year only about the chief ed if you have the thought of going to the higher studies your target is higher studies so start right from the beginning of your first year also there is nothing wrong it's not gpat means a complete to get better rank uh, they can start from the first yeah. year yeah yeah it's not like anything else we are studying we are not studying any other engineering subjects for gpat we are studying pharmacy subjects only for gpat so that subjects will be there from first semester onward so if you have the thought of higher education better keep that thought in your mind right from the first semester nothing wrong so you just try to see what is the syllabus you just try to see what is happening in the gpat in the starting level at the next semester second semester or third semester you start gathering the information you try to understand how to categorize the things and whatever the subjects covered in first year how to keep them on track you need not forget the first year subjects don't feel like only third year and final year will be covered in gpat or nipat sometimes the first year organic chemistry questions can be reflected in the nipat je exam so you can see them very much this is stereo chemistry which you study in first year second year will be com continuously coming in the nipat je exam so like the basics and fundamentals will be covered very high in je exam nipat whereas in gpat depth questions or whatever the syllabus that have given so like that there is no restriction or no no need to wait for something good time to start the gpat preparation so what whenever you have higher studies thought you start immediately and make the habit of preparing something differently and try to use your iq level such that you can suggest something new methodology to your friends or to the world and you can learn from the other <coughs> other experiences you can learn from your teachers or friends seniors are very very important like how rahman uh, he is the first person who cracked niper from his college so the college people the teachers they are highly impressed and they are taking his resources to guide the juniors so he used to go to his b pharmacy college and help the student so to his level he is helping very much to the juniors so that is one important thing so make a track of your seniors make a track of your teachers who are very much interested and all those things. so like that you can plan whenever you feel or whenever Uh, you have time to start so this is the overall uh, suggestions we can give in general uh, so just i thought of adding few points uh, in addition to the words given by the rahman so with this brief discussion uh, i i will i would like to uh, close the session uh, so as i told in two or three days you will be getting the feedback link with self assessment questionnaire and after submitting that you will be getting the certificate so those who got registered for this webinar they will be getting all these links no need to worry so the registration done at uh, www.mybogroup.com so if any else you want to learn specially you please uh, mail us at mybogroup@gmail.com so thank you one and all uh, for uh, uh, spending your valuable time in watching this uh, mybo webinar 9 thank you very much so we are going off